Good morning, folks. Uh, sorry I can't be there with you today. I'm having terrible sickness problems. This is about as much lucidity as I can manage. So we're going to go through Sandcastles number five, um, and I'll describe for you some of the solutions, and I'll tell you how to study for your quiz for the rest of the day, um, and then I'll help you have a good day with the rest, rest of the class with your sub. So, Sandcastles number five. Um, it says, uh, remember that our function was w of t is 20 sine of 29t. Uh, and number five asks us to suppose Shelley decides she needs only two hours to build and admire her castle. What is the lowest point on the beach where she can build it? So first thing I notice in the question is that it's asking what is the lowest point on the beach where she can build it? So thinking back to last class, the units of our answer are going to be feet. And they're giving us some information about time. So we're probably not going to have to use inverse trig because we had to use inverse trig in the opposite situation where we knew feet and we needed to find time. So this is just is a different sort of formulation of this problem. Um, in the statement, they say that she needs only two hours to build and admire her castle. Um, so the first thing you might think is, well, what if she spends just two hours right at midnight starting to build her castle. And she starts right here, and she builds, 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 builds until this dot uh, right here, and that's two hours. The problem with this is that then if you calculate the height after two hours, it's going to be something like, um, it looks like maybe 17. But that violates a different part of the problem. In the statement, it asks, what is the lowest point on the beach where she can build it? So starting at midnight and building for two hours is not going to let her build at the lowest point. She's going to be underwater for the entire time of building if she's building right here. So instead, she needs to build somewhere around the lowest point. And it's sort of like taking this two hours, picking it up, and trying to move it around such that it's as low as it can go. One thing that you might try is saying, well, it needs to be in the valley right here. But again, if she starts right at 6.2 hours, then, yeah, the water is a little bit lower then. But still, if she wants to stay above above the water, the highest she can build it at is at the zero line. Well, I think she can go lower than that. So my analogy for this problem is kind of like putting a long cat into a bowl. Um, if you want to fit this long cat into this bowl, you're not going to fit the long cat into the bowl by trying to squeeze it in on this side or this side. The way that you're going to fit this long cat as far as possible down into the bowl is by putting it right in the center of the bowl. Right in the center so that half of the cat is on the left half and half of the cat is on the right half. That's how you're going to get this cat as far down into the center of the bowl as possible. And yeah, I was just looking in the background at my cat who is still in the video. That's Pepper. The cat you're hearing is Oscar. He's hungry. So, stepping back from cats, let's look at sandcastles again. We have this two-hour time period. We need to fit it as far down into the bowl as we can. Well, not here, not there. The farthest down that this can fit is going to be right around here. And let's zoom in on that situation. So, the lowest point happened at 9.3 hours. Well, if the two hours is split exactly in the middle so that it can be as low as it can go into this uh, shape of this curve, then it's going to have to be, oh, sorry, one hour on each side, which means that the earliest time of this red dot is going to be 9.3 minus 1, or 8.3. And the latest time of this dot is going to be 9.3 plus 1, or 10.3 uh, hours. So all this is problem is really asking us is, at 10.3 hours, or 8.3 hours, the water level should be the same, and it's going to ask us, what is that water level? Well, at that time, uh, we need to find out where that is. The good news is we have a function that can do it for us. Remember the original graph was... Uh, w of t equals 20 sine of 29t. Well, we know t. That's 8.3. So we can plug in 8.3 for t. 
and we'll get that w of t is 20 sine of 29 times 8.3. And this is where you go to your handy dandy calculator, turn it on, make sure you're in degrees, not radians, and just type in 20 sine of 29 times 8.3. Close parentheses. And you get that the water level is going to be negative 17.44 feet. So negative 17.44 feet is where she should build the castle. And that's how you solve problems like sandcastles number five. So again, the hardest part of this problem is not the math. It's understanding what it's asking. Um, so take a careful look at the question whenever you get a question like this to try to understand what it's asking. And as always, the graph is the best way to understand what it's asking. And having an idea of what the picture looks like is going to really, really help you out. Um, if you are not, if this is, you're not watching this on Friday, March 18th, then you can probably turn the video off now. But if it's Friday, March 18th, and you're in class, I'm wondering what you should do next. Here's what you should do next. So you're taking a quiz next class. Um, we just went over sandcastles number five, which means we finished that whole problem. One thing that you can do is review the whole thing. Review all of sandcastles. That's a great problem to review. Um, if you like the beach theme and you want to stay on the beach, you can go to the next page right after sandcastles and do the problem called More Beach Adventures. Or say you hate the beach. You uh, are prefer to live in Chicago where we don't have very many beaches. Uh, then you can talk about the hours of daylight problem on the back side of the bunny sheet from last class. Um, but that's a really nice problem. It has some really gross numbers because it's the real function. It can tell you how long daylight is in Chicago. Uh, there's a review problem on the quiz review sheet on the very bottom. That would be a really great problem to study from. And if you've used up all of those and you want some more, then you're welcome to go to the alligator sheet from last class and all of those seven problems on the back, the ones about Samir swimming in the swamp, with alligators, or uh, Sarah, the stunt woman, swimming in the swamp with alligators, you're welcome to try to solve those. I don't know if the numbers will be nice. I haven't solved them myself, but I think they're all really nice problems. So I hope that gives you something to do for the rest of class. Um, thank your sub for me. Uh, I hope to receive a good note, and I will see you guys all on Tuesday.